Joseph W. Brady offers insight into today's residential, commercial, retail, and industrial markets in our high desert Mojave River Valley region. I think Terry, everybody right now is kind of concerned about the residential market. And I think on the, on the residential side, Bobby Trango and Mike Arias with Chicago Title put out a great graphic every, it's like every week or every two weeks, uh, Mike does his, his, his podcast. And the one thing that is really coming true, and, and Mike was talking about this like like two months ago, uh, the inventory is decreasing, mm-hmm. prices are, are, are firming up, the Fed's going to raise rates again, they're probably going to raise them a couple more times to really uh, to choke down inflation. But I think that people are realizing that need housing, that don't want to live in rental housing, that you know the rates are the rates, uh, rates, rates have really kind of adjusted. So. What, what, what the Fed's doing does have some connection with, with the psychological side of the housing market. But I, I think that um, you know, when, when you talk to lenders, we've got mortgage solutions here uh, in our building. We've, we've just entered into a, a sponsorship deal with PRMG um, and, 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 and their office to sponsor the Brad Coydeza Report. They're equally as busy. I mean, the mortgage people, the good mortgage people will always be busy. Okay, the ones that got in the market when things were good, they probably have fallen off. So I think the housing market's actually better than people think. Um, the tapestry, the tapestry. I keep wanting to say the tapestry project, the Silverwood project that John O'Haney and his partners at DMB, uh, they're they're moving as fast as they can. I know that they've had some setbacks with with the weather. So my gut, I haven't talked to John here in in, in a couple weeks. I would imagine that they probably have lost about a month so far. They were still planning and having. That model complex opened by May of 2024. I believe that they've taken care of, of interviewing their their builders. I think they have their product type done, so that's real good. So I think the market is is kind of healthy on the residential side. Um, the residential agents that I've talked to, I just looked at at who the top 75 residential agents were in the market. Um, you know, Kim Jarrett of Remax just absolutely knocked out of the park last year. I mean, just some incredible, incredible numbers. So, Kim, congratulations. I mean, there's a lot of competition with the residential agents that, you know, have done somewhere between, you know, five and, and, and $15 million. I mean, there's a lot of good, good, good producers. Uh, I know the coal banker just recently acquired Agio Real Estate with Kerry and, and Paul Leon, so that that's a, a big deal for uh, Chris and, and, and Jason. So that that market I think is okay. Uh, the commercial market is is tight, uh, so we're starting to see a tightening because there's been nothing really built. The only things that have been built have been those things down at at, at the Lewis project down at the Target down in on, on Main Street. You know some fast foods. You've got Jersey Mike's going in. Uh, out there on, on, on Palmdale Road that Stan Rothbard's doing. You've got the new Panera Bread going across the street from the college, which is exciting. They've, they've been, Joe, Joe Rich and Rich Development have been working on that. So that was a, a deal initially, and then Panera pulled back, and now it's kind of a, a build a suit. So that's going to be really exciting. They're, they're, they're moving dirt. So the, the retail centers are getting tighter, and, and rents are going to start moving on up no, no matter what. The office market is real tight right now. We're, we're actually moving after 13 years, and we've been trying to find space and haven't been able to find what, what we want. And part of it is nothing has been built. And then the industrial side, the industrial market's just really healthy. There's very little product out there. Uh, industrial land is scarce and tight. Uh, we uh, just recently showed a, a piece of property in Atlanta, a 40-acre piece of property for $6.50 a foot. That when I originally looked at it three years ago, I had a hard time putting a comp on it. Now this is 40 acres, okay? It's not a, like a one-acre piece. I had a hard time valuing it for more than 40,000 bucks an acre. And now the, the the seller who we know, he's he's a very active broker, is asking 650 a foot. It's got permits for outside storage, and he'll get it. So the 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 you know the market overall is I think real good. I think what we're seeing we're seeing a lot of. Uh, outside commercial, industrial, and office brokers now coming in the marketplace. I think there'll be a, a pretty big announcement coming on up here for a, for a, for a major brokerage company that will, that will be moving in the marketplace. So I, I think the markets say, you know, I, th- I think the market's good. I mean, we're all concerned about about what the Fed's doing in the way of, you know, the, 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 the Fed line and interest and what that does has an impact on cap rates. But I'll tell you, as I watch the, the deals I see across the nation, 
uh, that, that we see. The market still seems to be healthy. There's a lot of cash out there. So, you know, I think people are feeling good. Um, I, I think it's it's easy for me to say that the Valley, is, as we see it today, you know, we're filming this on, on, on March 8th of, of 2023, will absolutely double in size. So we have a half million people now, including the five cities, you know, Wrightwood in that area, Lucerne Valley, New, New, in, you know, Newberry Springs, Hellendale, Silver Lakes. No doubt in my mind it will double in, in, in size in the next 25 years. So you, you've got, and we're waiting for Brightline to happen. Uh, they've got all their permits. They've got they've got everything in hand, and they're just waiting for financing. So I know that they've got their application to be in by the end of March. I'm sure they've got it in already for their grant from the Biden administration. Then you've got what the state's going to do with with um, our, our treasurer, uh, Mrs. Ma, and they've got to raise some some bond money. Uh, I, I I think that's a game changer. I've talked about it many times. The construction numbers of of the number of construction workers is just continues to increase. What I forewarn people, and I've done this before, and I'll tell people again, you know, go if you're if you're running an apartment right now, go cut a deal with your landlord. Uh, you know, maybe do a lease, uh, maybe do uh, with a series of options. If you're renting a house, go to your landlord, work with them, get a series of options. You put thirty thousand to thirty-five to forty thousand construction workers between Ranch Cucamonga the station will be and Las Vegas Nevada in a tight market like ours you're gonna see I think a housing explosion you're gonna see rental rates go up 20% in the first year uh, there'll be a very little protection for those tenants that haven't thought about this in advance and I think that landlords are gonna do very well become a landlord market unfortunately the hotel rates will they'll they'll absolutely pick up you know 75 bucks a night easily across the board um, and I think we're going to see a big explosion up here. So I, 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 I really see some great things. And Terry, that's not even talking about the great things that are going on at SCLA with Kim Schneider and Prologis and, and all that stuff. So we've got a lot of industrial that, that, that are coming through the marketplace that are looking. Uh, we're getting you know, one or two calls a week. And we're having to put out, you know, uh, 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 we're having to put out our, our emails that, that LJ is helping us with. The broker saying, hey, we're looking for this, we're looking for that. So... No, I, I think that things are, are, are real good right now. I think that they're, I think they're very promising. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. We invite you to be watching for upcoming progress reports on Victor Valley College and Bear Valley Country Club at Spring Valley Lake. Thank you for being with us on this report. We do appreciate your viewership.